Bills Mafia fins up. Buffalo 2-0, Miami 2-0. Week 2's Battle of the Unbeatens kicks off in a matter of seconds. On the flip side of that, winless Las Vegas, winless Tennessee. One of these two playoff teams from last season will start this season 0-3. Philly chose him number 2 overall in 2016. They chose Hurts over him in 2020. Carson Wentz gets his first crack to get back at the Birds. And he's probably the greatest September quarterback in NFL history. The month of Mahomes reaches its final Sunday today. And with that, we say hi, everyone, and welcome to NFL Red Zone presented by Amazon. Scott Hansen with you wondering what will happen next. Last week, we had the absurd three crazy comebacks, three of the most improbable comebacks in the last decade of pro football. Today, we start the day with six Two and O teams. That's it. Six unblemished. Five of those six play on red zone this afternoon. And you want parity? How's this? The entire NFC North is one and one. The entire NFC West is one and one. The entire AFC South has one total win. And that came from Jacksonville. Jacksonville plays in the late window today. The early window kicks off in a matter of moments with nine games inside. Alvin Kamara will play for the Saints. New Orleans is in Carolina. Houston at Chicago, the Lovey Smith Invitational. Indianapolis is, is winless. Kansas City is one of those 2 and O teams. Buffalo at Miami, two top five scoring offenses. Detroit is scoring 36 points a game. The Lions are in Minnesota to take on the Vikings today. Welcome back to football, J.K. Dobbins. Dobbins and the Ravens go to New England. Patriots home opener in 2022. Cincinnati at the Jets. The AFC. AFC, cha AFC champion are 0 and 2. Las Vegas at Tennessee. Someone's got to get their first win today, right? And Philadelphia at Washington. First NFC East versus NFC East game of 2022. We are ready for the first of the nine kicks. Kaimi Fairbairn with it teed up for the Houston Texans. They are at Soldier Field. Looks like a nice day in Chicago, and the Bears will get the football first. On the 25-yard line, the battle of second-year quarterbacks there, Justin Fields and Davis Mills. It's a couple of long-tooth quarterbacks, or at least one in Matt Ryan's case in Indianapolis. The Colts' home opener, and it's a tough task as the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs come a call in and that kickoff will come out over the 25 yard line we've got kickoff between the winless Raiders and the winless Tennessee Titans with the home team getting the football first there in Nashville well Josh Allen said that he spent his first two NFL Sundays this season watching NFL Red Zone thank you Josh we're fans of your work as well undefeated Buffalo undefeated Miami first snap a block by Knox and downfield a catch made by Diggs. He was working on Howard. The ball free. They say he was down 47 of Miami. A 28-yard completion on the game's first play. Well, the Dolphins like to blitz more than any team in the NFL. They blitz on the first play of the game going man-to-man. -man. There's Xavier Howard. That matchup with Diggs. Diggs gets the best of it with an accurate throw from Josh Allen. Singletary a block with a whistle on that first and ten. Looks like Mike McDaniel's challenging. He has a red flag out. Possibly a coach's challenge on the first snap from scrimmage in the Bills-Dolphins game. While we're doing that, hey, you love it. We love it. Josh Allen loves it. It's the Octobox, ladies and gentlemen. Eight of the nine games having already kicked off across the National Football League. We have division games in Carolina, in Miami, in Minneapolis, and in Washington. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Seven hours of commercial-free football start now. Back to South Florida, where the game has come to a halt after the first play. And Mike McDaniel's going to have a discussion on this Stephon Diggs chunk play into Dolphins territory. Let's listen. Receiver was down by contact, and there was no fumble. Miami is challenging that ruling. So what McDaniel is... All right, that's Alex Kemp, the referee, giving us the call there. That game is going to shut down for a minute or two. We'll skip over to Nashville right now and show you a little Derrick Henry bobble on the screenplay, but he gets it, and he's got a head of steam. And which one of you secondary players wants to try and bring down King Henry? 
No one does until he gets a 23-yard gain. That was the second play of the game. Tennessee off to a fine start. All right, let's uh, check in. How about that NFC North matchup here? Jared Goff, a top 10 quarterback in the first two weeks of the season in terms of passer rating. How about winging that one in to DJ Chark? The former Jacksonville Jaguar, now Detroit Lion, with a 17-yard play, and the Lions are in business early in the first minutes. Let's go uh, to live action here with Tennessee and the Raiders, and we'll give you an update on that Bills Dolphins challenge in a moment. And Rock Yassine, the right corner, came up to make the play. Yeah, and Crosby was in there again. Crosby. The ball goes. We're going to go immediately now to Lucas Oil Stadium. It's an instant red zone possession for the Colts. A muffed punt by Kansas City. You got an 0-2 team facing a 2-0 team. Colts are probably going to have to get a couple of breaks today to keep this thing close. There's an immediate one in the first couple plays of the game, and it was the rookie. That's Sky Moore trying to return the uh, kick there, the punt, and he muffed it. Immediate recovery for the Colts. First and goal for Matt Ryan and company. Just trying to guess where the ball was going to come. That is like a full yard off. I was looking outside. I was like, you know, well, there's nothing. This like, the sun's not blinding out there. Out there. You know. So, all right, the Colts who have done nothing offensively in the first half, the first two games, they've got four yards from pay dirt. You just saw the best Colts play of the year so far. Exactly. Everyone, that's the biggest play. Boy, they needed it too. Here's the give to Taylor. And he's surrounded again by four or five Chiefs. Third down and nine. Battle of second-year quarterbacks, Davis Mills, Justin Fields. Fields has hardly thrown the ball this year. They've not asked him to. They tried to ask him to on this play, but you know he's got scoots as well. Third and nine, mobile quarterbacks will kill you in those situations, especially when you got glued coverage downfield. How about a 29-yard scramble for Justin Fields on third and nine? Move the sticks for the Bears. Because Quentin Nelson, the all-pro left guard, is on the left. Second and goal. Ball from the three yard line it's Taylor again up ahead driving still moving the pile and they're gonna keep him about a foot shy of the end zone well this is why you just need to get the ball the Troy Lions got that big DJ Chark reception they got into field goal range stalled on fourth down they go for the field goal oh it hits the right upright Stoink it and back out onto the playing field. Austin Seibert, no good, remains scoreless in that NFC North matchup. 100%. You're exactly right. And you're going to run right over that left side and go over 56. Quentin Nelson, him and Zach Martin, maybe the two best guards in the game. Nope, they're going to go up top instead. Back in the end zone. And it's caught for a touchdown. Jelani Woods, the rookie out of Virginia. There's your first touchdown of Sunday afternoon in week three, and it's the Indianapolis Colts jumping out ahead after the Kansas City Chiefs miscue on special teams. Double box in the Buffalo offense. The Mike McDaniel coaches challenge on the first play from scrimmage was denied. So he loses that challenge. It was a catch for Stephon Diggs, and this drive is now into field goal range for the number one team in everyone's power rankings. Things were blocking up the middle. It goes again, penetrating the middle, and that's the fullback. Gilliam. We immediately need to go to a triple box, ladies and gentlemen. Buffalo is on the march. You've got the Bengals in the red zone. In fact, goal to go. And you've got the Titans at the bottom of the screen in the red zone. Off the fake to Henry. Tannehill finds Henry, but it did not fool the former Titan, Jayon Brown. And there is a flag. Brad Rogers, our referee this afternoon. Holding offense. The Terry back there. First down and ten. Time in the throw to the ten. And Gillian tried to hurdle, and Roberts was there to catch him in mid. There's a penalty marker on this play, and it's going to come back. This is against the Bengals. Wipe the touchdown off the board. Up from the practice squad, top of your screen. Split out wide to the left. 180! 
Tannehill over the middle. It's caught. And defensively today. Greg Singletary in the backfield. Allen goes in the black outside. And they try to go in there, but it was stuffed well. A loss of the yard. On this inside slot receiver position. Gain of 16 for Woods. Tenth play of the drive. Henry lined up to the left of Tannehill. First and 10 from the Raiders. 11. Tannehill looking over the top. It is Henry. And he's taken down. There was a significant penalty at the end of this play. Right there, they called unnecessary roughness a personal foul against Miami. So an automatic first down and half the distance to the goal. First and goal for the Bills. Boy, that's a mistake early on. Xavier Howard getting into it. He covered Diggs over 80% of the time. So that matchup continuing here today. James Cook, rookie from Georgia, is in. Singletary on the move. And with the new center, Van Roten, jumping on it was Allen. Empty backfield for the Titans. Second down at four. Tannehill looking to run. And he's... Three receivers set. Henry in the backfield. Tannehill the fake to Henry on third down to the end zone. Touchdown. The tight end, Jeff Swain. And there's Jeff Swain. You bring everybody in That's tight. The all the the Billy Sports in it to get it back. Phillips, the linebacker, comes I in. Eighth play of the drive. Second down and goal at the five. And Singletary's back there. Here he goes. Chiseling his way. Van Roten was way in the wood and down to about the two. Leading the way. Van Roten, the center. It's a game of three on the play. And we mentioned before the great opening drive success of this offense well they've, they've had tremendous success and you could hear josh allen at the line of scrimmage yelling kill 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 going to that second play the sell that the dolphins were given they're known to run man to man and, and go with presser but they had a two cell with a quarter deep with the linebackers so josh allen checked to the run bringing it to third and short down here near the goal line. Let's see what Ken Dorsey's got up his sleeve. Third and goal at the one single Terry back there. Gabe Davis singled up on the outside. Big size advantage. Three wee. Getting away from Jenkins. Here goes Allen. And a tackle made on the play by Melvin Ingram. They lose a yard. In the meantime, Chicago worked it into Houston territory. A 47-yard field goal attempt. Cairo Santos splits the sticks in the Windy City. Bears three, Texans nothing. Josh Allen puts his on. Singletary, touchdown. Two-yard touchdown pass to the running back, Devin Singletary. And now eight consecutive opening game drives for the Buffalo Bills have resulted in a touchdown. That's the first touchdown for a Bills running back this season. And the T. Higgins Coaches Challenge was not overturned, so no touchdown for Cincinnati. Here comes third down. Missed their field goal on their opening possession. Kirk Cousins and company got it into Lions territory. And Greg Joseph goes quite far right on a 56-yard attempt. So two missed field goals, still bagels on the board there in Minneapolis. Check in on the NFC East matchup. Mentioned that the first of the year, NFC East versus NFC East. Of course, tomorrow night, Monday night football, Cowboys-Giants will be an NFC East affair. Four-man rush gets to Wentz again. And this time it's Javon Hargrave with his first sack of the season. The Philadelphia defensive front kicking early against the Washington offensive line. Well, it's really about combination rush, right? When you get pressure off the edges and then you get 
this push. Look at Hargrave from just low plane to high plane, just stabbing Norwell right in the chest, taking him back and then disengaging. I mean, right now, they're, I mean, hey, I'm with you guys. Go Danielson on him. Karate kicking all over the place. Three consecutive plays with a sack for the defense, and they're still only rushing four for the most part. This is where you up. Oh, there's, a, there's a penalty right here. This is perfect draw, screen, sit-down area. Ball start. Offense number 72. After this is for the goal. Aiden Hutchinson had about as good of our first half. And we will check back in with the Detroit Lions, who after missed field goals for both teams, are back into field goal range for the second time in the first quarter. Touchdown, catch and run. That, to me, really sealed the game. The 71 points that they've put up so far, this offense, their most in consecutive games in 11 seasons. As they hand it to Jamal Williams. And a lot of people are saying that this offense and this Detroit Lions team, they are fun to watch again. Well, they'll have a tough third down here. The go-to guys, then Amon Ross St. Brown. I mean, he's who they've looked to try to target or find that, that matchup. Move across the formation. There he is, bottom of your screen, third and five. Goff slings it out that direction, but incomplete. Good coverage by the veteran Patrick Peterson in his second year in Minnesota after 10 years in Arizona. Fourth down. This is part of that shell coverage, really disguising and holding till after the snap of the football. Goff threw a ball that was in the vicinity to St. Brown, but Patrick Peterson breaking up on it. That could easily be seven the other way. And a decision here by Dan Campbell to keep the offense on the field. There's a little confidence inside it after that miss in the first drive. Will they snap it? Yes, Goff. Over the middle, caught. First down and more. And look who it is over the top, Bob and Ross St. Brown. We told you he's electric, he's explosive, he's fun to watch. It's on display there as he picks up 30. This is what you saw last week versus Philly if you're a Minnesota Vikings fan. Wide receivers running through the zone coverage, really not being able to catch up as Amon Ross St. Brown is able to find the soft spot after that they flooded out the rest of that zone. The reigning NFC Offensive Player of the Week, who not only led the team in receiving against Washington, he led the team in rushing as well. 